Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then guess the output of this program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run this program and explain the output. All right, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. We're gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be 100. Now, why the heck we're gonna get the answer as 100? So here in this program, we have this variable i, which we have initialized to zero. And then we have this variable result, which we have initialized to 100. Now here in this for loop, what happens is, for the first iteration, the initialization part will be executed first. So here in this for loop, we don't have any initialization statements and that's why you know, no statements will be executed. And then the condition is checked. If that condition satisfies, then only the code inside the for loop will be executed. So here we have i++ and we have this increment operators in the postfix form. So the value of this i will be used in this statement and then it will be updated when we go to the next statement. And we have initialized our variable i to a value of 0. So here the value used is 0. 0 means false. So the condition is gonna fail and the statements inside this for loop are not gonna be executed because for the first iteration only this condition is gonna fail. And then since we have initialized our result variable with a value of 100, you know, that value is not altered and that will be printed out and we're going to get the output as 100. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my YouTube channel Learning Lad for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.